storytelling has been around for thousands of years. Can you imagine that? Thousands of years. And there's all different ways to tell stories. Here is one way Miss Dawn tells a story from her real life experience. Have you ever been camping? Well, I hadn't been camping until several years ago when I went on my first camping trip with my husband. He was a Boy Scout, so he wanted to share the joys of camping. And we didn't go to a shelter, no. We did a tent camping in what they call a primitive campsite. So we had to trek our tent and the sleeping bags and the stove and all the food down this little hill and through this little lane to the camping area. But again, my husband was a camper when he was young, so we got the tent up pretty well. And he did uh, grill us a very nice meal. We had hot dogs and potato salad and grilled veggies. And so we had a lovely time. We sat out there in our camp area and the sun started going down. And we had a little campfire, but because we were out in the primitive camp area in Glen Rose, uh, after the campfire started going down, it got pretty dark. So what do we want to do? We go inside our tent to get ready to go to sleep. And we were laying there and we're just going to sleep when we hear some rustling and some louder rustling. What could that be? I mean, we're out in the wilderness and it gets pretty loud. Could it be a bear? Is it like a mountain lion? We look out, we have these screen little windows in our tent and we look out, no, it wasn't a bear or a mountain lion, thank goodness. They were raccoons, five gigantic raccoons, like big as dogs. And they were in our campsite because I forgot and left hot dog buns out. And so they were having a great snack with our heart. So we let them do that. And since they were just raccoons, I went to sleep. My husband did actually have trouble falling asleep after that. And that was my first experience with camping. And this is Miss Shannon telling a traditional folk tale. Enjoy. I just think being outdoors sometimes is so magical. I know a story about someone who is truly magical. It was a story about a fairy. But she's not the main character in this story. The main character in this story is a little old lady. And this little old lady, she lived in a pickle jar. That's right, I said a pickle jar. And it, well, let me just tell you, it was a very big pickle jar, almost as high as a tree. Well, one day, the little old lady was rocking back and forth, rocking back and forth, saying, Oh, what a pity, what a pity, pity, pity that I have to live in this pickle jar. Why, I should live in a cottage with roses trailing down the walls. Oh, how nice that would be. How very nice indeed. Well, guess what? A real fairy was flying by when she heard that little old lady's wish travel into the air. And she said, oh, I think I will help her. If a cottage is what she wants, a cottage she will get. So the little, the fairy went to the little old lady and she said, when you go to bed tonight, close your eyes, turn around one, two, three times. And when you wake up, see what you shall see. Oh, that little old lady was so excited. She hopped into bed. She closed her eyes. She rolled around one, two, three times. And when she woke up, she was in a cottage with roses trailing down the walls. Oh, she said, how nice, how very nice. I shall be very happy living here. Well, the fairy flew north, and the fairy flew south, and the fairy flew east, and the fairy flew west. She did all the business she had to do when she started wondering about that little old lady, how she was enjoying her cottage. So she went to visit her. And do you know what? That little old lady was sitting in her cottage saying, Oh, what a pity, what a pity, pity, pity that I have to live in this small cottage where there's no one around me, you know what would be great? 
If I lived in a tall row house with neighbors all around me, oh, that would be very nice to live in town. Oh, how grand that would be. That would be very nice indeed. Well, the fairy was kind of sad that the little old lady didn't like her cottage. So she went to her and said, when you go to bed tonight, close your eyes. Turn around one, two, three times, and when you wake up, see what you shall see. So the little lady knew what to do now. She closed her right, she rolled around one, two, three times, and when she woke up, she was in a fine, tall row house with neighbors all around her, and she said, oh, how very nice, how very nice indeed. Well, the fairy flew north, and the fairy flew south, and the fairy flew east, and the fairy flew west. She did all the business she had to do, and she got to thinking about that little lady, wondering how she was enjoying her row house. And do you know what? That little old lady was sitting in her row house saying, oh, what's a pity, what's a pity, 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 that I have to live in this row house with neighbors all around me, crowding in, bother me all the time. Oh, you know what would be nice? If I lived in a mansion on the hill with servants, oh, how nice that would be. How very nice indeed. Well, the fairy flew and went to hear that little old lady and was sad she did not like her row house, but she thought, well, I guess if that's what she wants, that's what she'll get. So she went to the little old lady and said, when you go to bed tonight, Close your eyes, turn around one, two, three times, and when you wake up, see what you shall see. Well, that little old lady hopped into bed, she closed her eyes, she rolled around one, two, three times, and when she woke up, she was in a beautiful mansion with a hill overlooking some meadows and forest and all sorts of fun stuff. And she said, oh, how nice, how very nice indeed. I shall be very happy living here. Well, what do you think happened? Do you think she was very happy? Mm -mm. No. The fairy flew back and saw the little old lady grouchy again, saying, oh, what a pity, pity, pity. And guess what she wanted? She wanted to live in a castle. Oh, my goodness. But the fairy decided to help her out. And the same thing happened. And the little old lady lived in a castle and what was beyond a castle? What most beautiful thing could be beyond a beautiful castle? But still the little old lady was not happy. She wanted all the castles in the world. She wanted to rule the world. And so the fairy flew back and she said, when you go to bed tonight, close your eyes, turn around one, two, three times. And when you wake up, see what you shall see. Oh, the little lady was so happy. She jumped into bed. She closed her eyes. She rolled around one, two, three times. And when she woke up, she was back in her pickle jar. And the fairy flew by and she said, my dear, if you can't be happy here, alas, I'm afraid you cannot be happy anywhere. And that is the story of the little old lady who lived in a pickle jar.